Hello friends. Today I will discuss single phase induction motor. In this, first we discuss necessity, then construction, then double revolving fail theory. Coming to the necessity, in domestic applications we find only single phase AC supply and we do not find the three phase AC supply. For domestic applications like uh, washing machines, vacuum cleaners, drilling machines, pumps, blowers, etc., we need low HP, low cost motors. So, in that category, this single phase induction motor will also come into picture. Coming to the construction of the single phase induction motor, it will have the two components one is called the stator the other one is called the rotor coming to the stator this stator is just similar to the three phase induction motor stator but it carries only two windings one winding is called the main winding the other winding is called the starting winding that is also called axillary winding the main winding is a thick wire, large number of turns, contributes low resistance, high inductance. Coming to the starting winding, it will uh, it is a thin wire with less number of turns, contributes high resistance, low inductive reactance. And coming to the rotor, it is a squirrel cage rotor. And next we see the uh, definition of thin kernel speed just like in the three phase induction motor here also we find the state or magnetic field speed which is also called a thin kernel speed given by 120F divided by P. Here the P indicates the number of poles of main winding. If the main winding is worn for 4 poles, the axillary winding also worn for 4 poles. Similarly, we find here a definition called slip. So, this is nothing but synchronous speed minus rotor speed divided by synchronous speed. Next, coming to the torque speed characteristic. Here, first we discuss in brief about the torque speed characteristic of three phase induction motor then we go to the torque speed characteristic of single phase induction motor here when we look at this characteristic this is the torque speed characteristic of three phase induction motor if you look at this graph at zero speed of the rotor there exists a starting torque like this this is happening mainly due to the state or magnetic field which is rotating present in the three phase induction motor. Coming to the single phase induction motor when, when the main winding is only present if the AC supply is given to the state or winding of the single phase induction motor so current flows and it produces flux but it is not rotating. In that case the torque speed characteristic will be like this. So, at zero speed of the rotor, the torque is zero. Similarly, when the speed is at synchronous speed, then also torque is zero. From this, we can say the single phase induction motor is not self starting. The reason is the stator magnetic field in this motor is not rotating in nature. Next coming to the principle of single phase induction motor, there are two ways of explaining the operation of the single phase induction motor. One method is called the double revolving field theory. In this method, uh, when the single phase AC supply is given to the stator of the single phase induction motor, there exists or a, a flux is produced 
like this whose maximum magnitude is 51 m as per this double revolving field theory we assume two fluxes which rotate in the opposite directions with magnitude which is equal to 51 m by 2 so when we look at this here this is the forward flux rotating in the clockwise direction whereas this is the backward flux it is rotating in the anti clockwise direction the speed of both will be synchronous speed and it is given by 120 fy so to analyze the torque speed characteristic of double revolving field theory so we take one flux at a time first we take the forward flux it is rotating at synchronous speed and then we analyze what is the torque speed characteristic of single phase induction motor after that we take backward flux which is rotating in anti clockwise direction and we see the what is the torque speed characteristic next next stage we consider both the fluxes rotating simultaneously and we analyze the torque speed characteristic so let us see here uh, let us say the forward flux is rotating in that case we get the torque speed characteristic like this this is the dotted characteristic shown by like this so this characteristic is present only when forward flux is rotating coming to the another flux this is the backward flux rotating in the anti clockwise direction for this when we draw the torque speed characteristic just similar to the three phase induction motor we get the characteristic like this shown by dotted line here coming to the starting torque of flux b that is backward flux the starting torque is 0 c whereas for forward flux the starting torque is 0 b so since the motor is one rotor is one the stator is only one when we give the supply so there are two fluxes rotating in opposite direction so we have to consider both the fluxes at the same time when we consider both the fluxes at the same time then we find the characteristics existing like this this is backward uh, torque speed characteristic this is the forward torque speed characteristic when we observe here the torque the starting torque for forward flux is given by tob like this and the torque corresponding to the backward flux starting torque at zero speed of the rotor is toc and if we observe properly the magnitude of the the starting torques are equal so the net torque acting on the rotor is zero which is shown by thick line like this and we draw the resultant graph then we get the thick line like this this is the torque speed characteristic of the single phase induction motor as per double revolving field theory then at zero speed we can say the synchronous the single phase induction motor is not self starting so to make it to rotate so there are two ways one is providing some means to provide a rotating magnetic field by stator winding the other is giving the physical rotation to the rotor suppose a physical rotation is given 
in the forward direction in that case we get a starting torque called toa that means this toa is greater than toc means the there is a net torque acting on the rotor when the physical rotation is given to the rotor so the rotor continues to rotate in the direction of forward flux so that characteristic resembles like three phase induction motor torque speed characteristic like this kindly like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you